So in lesson three, we look at um, problem solving questions involving a mixture of everything that we've done so far in this discrete random variable pack. In this first example, we've got a function of x, so y is a function of x, and we've been told the expected value and the variance of that function of x, so um, expected value and variance of y. We need to work backwards from that to find the expected value of x and the variance of x. And here's our solution. So uh, we know that the expected value of x is equal to uh, the expected value of 50y plus 50, because we've rearranged um, y to make x the subject. And then we can use our uh, formula for expectation of a linear function. So we can just multiply the expected value of y by 50 and add on 150 to give our answer of 485. Similarly for the variance, um, the variance of x is equal to the variance of 50y plus 50. So remember that 50 doesn't play a part in the calculation. Now we square the, the 50. That's our a, so a squared times the variance of y, um, and that gives us our answer of 6250. Similar idea in uh, example two. So here we've got the probability distribution uh, for x uh, with unknown a, b, and c, and we've been given a variety of information. So the information that we've got is that the expectation of y, uh, where y is 3x minus 1, is equal to minus 2.5. And the variance of y is equal to 13.95. And the third bit of information is that we know that the uh, total of any probability distribution, the probabilities we know the total there, is equal to 1. So the idea here is using those three bits of information, probabilities add up to one, uh, expected value of y is minus 2.5, and variance of y is 13.95. Three bits of information, three unknowns, and we should be able to set up um, simultaneous equations to work out uh, a, b, and c. But anyway, let's deal with uh, each part uh, in turn. So part A, we were required to find the expected value of x squared uh, and the um, expected value uh, of x. Okay, so uh, we know that x is equal to y plus 1 over 3. We've rearranged. So we've rearranged y is equal to 3x minus 1 to give us x is equal to y plus 1 over 3. And then using our formula for expectation, and that enables us to work out the expected value uh, of x, a third times the expected value of y, plus 1, so minus 0 0.5. For the expected value of x squared, uh, the trick here is to acknowledge the fact that the variance formula links the expected value of x squared and the expected value of x. Remember, the variance of x is the expected value of x squared. Take away the expected value of x all squared. So anyway, if we work out the variance of x by using our a squared times the variance of y formula, we get 1.55. And then using our rearranged version of the variance formula um, to work out the expected value of x squared. So we can use our variance of x and our expected value of x in that formula to get our expected value of x squared. Now part b, this is where we use our three bits of information. So we use the fact that our uh, probabilities will add up to one. We use the, the fact that the expected value of x, which is calculated by doing uh, minus 2 times 0 0.3, minus 1 times a, 0 times 0 0.25, 1 times b. 
2 times c. We use the what we've worked out in the first part of the question, knowing that that's equal to minus 0 0.5. Okay, and that will give us our uh, second equation. And thirdly, using our expected value of x squared that we've just worked out as 1.8, um, we can do a similar thing and establish an equation in A, B, and C using that information, um, leading us to equation 3. So from the three bits of information, we get three uh, simultaneous equations, which we now need to solve to find A, B, and C. So finally then to finish things off, um, when we solve our three simultaneous equations, uh, we get A is 0 0.2, B 0 0.2, and C 0 0.05. And then for the last part of the question, we had to work out the probability that X was greater than Y. So we can swap Y for 3X minus 1. We look at probability that X is greater than 3X minus 1, and we can rearrange that um, to probability that x is less than a half and so the probability that x is greater than y is the probability that x is less than a half and we can pick out the probabilities from our table that correspond to that so the 0 0.3, 0 0.2, 0 0.25 added together to give us 0 0.75 final